Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I just want to do a quick setup and firmware upgrade to this GWN7062 Wi-Fi router. In the recent live stream that I did a couple of weeks ago, I'll put a link to that up here. I actually went through the whole unboxing and went through the features and settings. I actually took you through an entire walkthrough of the UI. So today, what I want to do, like I said, is just do a quick video on the initial internet setup, which I skipped in the live stream, as well as upgrading the firmware. And then from there, we'll see what other videos come down the pike regarding this router. So if you're interested in seeing this, then stick around. Okay, so we're at the GWN7062 login screen. Now, I did factory reset this device since I did that live stream so that I could take you through the internet setup. However, I do suggest you do check out that live stream because a couple of questions came up. So not only did I go through the router itself and all the settings and features and the UI, but a couple of questions came up in that live stream regarding the USB port on the back. It's used for file storage. And one of the questions came up was, does it also support um, a print server? And the answer to that, I did reach out to my contact over at Grandstream because I wasn't sure. I didn't see anything in the documentation during the live stream. The answer to that is no, it's specifically supports file storage only. And then the second question that came up was regarding uh, multiple WAN IPs. One of the viewers asked if this can do multiple WAN IPs. And again, reaching out to my contact over at Grandstream, the answer to that is no, not at this time. So wanted to get that out of the way. Now, let me just switch views for you. I wanna show you how I'm connected to this router. I'm connected to the router's default Wi-Fi right now. So that's how I'm going to access the user interface. But I do have the power plugged into the bottom. The Wi-Fi password is on the bottom tag here. I showed that in the actual live stream. And then I do have a network cable plugged into the actual WAN port so I can gain internet access and get the firmware updated. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get signed in. I'll bring this full screen so you can have a better view. I already have the password in again, that's on the bottom of the router. And let's get logged in and get started. So you can see here, the first thing it's asking us to do, which is a good thing, is change the default password. So let me put one in here. It's telling me that it's medium strength and I'm okay with that for this video. Let's go ahead and hit save. And we're presented with a quick internet configuration or the option to skip. Let's go through the wizard. So it brings us to the setup wizard page and you can see here there are three steps. We're gonna set the country and time zone. Then it takes us to internet settings and then the SSID wireless settings. So let's start here. So we're on country region. It detects that I'm in the United States, but my time zone is incorrect. So let's just go ahead and pick the correct time zone for me. That would be Eastern time, US and Canada. Let's scroll down and hit the next arrow. Now we can select our connection type. In this case, because I'm coming off my network switch, I'm gonna have it obtain the IP address automatically via DHCP, but you see we have other options here, manual or PPPoE, but we'll leave it set to obtain IP automatically. You have the option of putting in DNS servers. So I'll just put in a couple of public servers here and we'll go ahead and we'll click the next arrow. And then here we could set the Wi-Fi. So by default, this is the Wi-Fi that comes out of the box. I'll just change it for now to 7062, GWN 7062. And I'm going to change the password. Now, once I hit next, I'm going to have to reconnect to the new Wi-Fi and probably log in all over again because I'm connected over the existing Wi-Fi at this time. So let's see what happens. And here it's just confirming everything. And I don't care that you see the Wi-Fi password because again, I'm gonna factory reset this router at the end of the video anyway. But let's go ahead and log in. But first I have to select the new Wi-Fi. And there it is, GWN7062. And we should be on the new Wi-Fi now. Yes, we are, GWN7062. 
and I should be able to get to the login page now. All right, so now we're gonna enter the new password, the new admin password that we set in that wizard. And here you can see now we're connected. Again, I suggest that you go through the actual live stream if you wanna see an overview of all of the settings in the menu and the user interface itself. So now let's come down to the network settings. And you can see we have our default network at 192.168.80.1. You could come in here and adjust these settings, but for now we're gonna leave this as is. If we come down to Wi-Fi settings and we go to SSIDs, you can see now that we have the GWN 7062, which is enabled and we're currently connected to it. It's a dual band. And then again, you can go in and adjust your settings here. But again, we're not gonna do that in this video. I just wanted to get through the initial setup wizard and then come down and we'll go over to the actual system settings where we can do an upgrade of the firmware. And you see here, you can do a manual upload, but we're gonna do it via the firmware server. Now, Grandstream uses this URL for every device out of the box. Now, if I were to hit detect new version, it's telling me no firmware in the server path. But what I know is that this is the incorrect server path. So we're gonna actually put in the new server path, which is firmware.grandstream.com. And now we'll come down and we'll save that. And now let's go ahead and click on detect new version. And you can see here now it says a new system version can be updated. We're going to go ahead and download and install. Okay, so you see here, it brought me back to the login screen. It did reboot the router after the firmware upgrade, so I had to reconnect to the GWN7062 Wi-Fi. So here we are back at the login screen. Let's log in. Let's come over to the system info, and we can see here now that the system version has been upgraded to version 1.0.5.12. So there you go, a quick and simple video on how to get through the initial setup wizard, get your internet WAN connection configured and get the firmware upgraded using the correct firmware path. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I wanna thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links listed down below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.